the Jag, right? Lovely. Now, what we've got here is a gas o meter, okay? And its prong is up that exhaust. And what it's telling me is that 15% um, of the gas coming out of this exhaust pipe is carbon dioxide. Okay, come here and verify that for me. It's actually 14.5%. Yes? Okay, yeah. Right. Take the prong out because on this side, on this tailpipe, I've modified it. Got tubes feeding into this Apollo 13 homemade filter, which is. <laughs> uh, it's full of lime soda crystals, which they use to absorb the carbon dioxide in those huge Australian mines, okay? So, we're going to pop the prong in the top because, as you can see, the gas is going down there through the crystals out of here. Let's just have a look how much carbon dioxide that's producing. It's none. What? Nothing? None? Absolutely no carbon dioxide is coming out of that car. Wow! <laughs> Now, I know we have a reputation on Top Gear for cocking about, OK? But on this occasion, we aren't. This is not a Toyota Prius, it's not a stupid Gee Whiz, it's got a 5-litre supercharged V8, and all that's coming out of this tailpipe is nitrogen and oxygen, which is... Air. Hang on a sec. What? These little rocks of yours... Yes. ..they absorb the carbon dioxide? They absorb it, yes. So how far can you go before they get all clogged up and they can't absorb any more carbon dioxide? On a motorway... Six miles. <laughs> With something that size, yes. How much does it cost for a new box of rocks? £75. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, I know, Barnes Wallace had setbacks, but he persevered, and I'm sure if science can make genetically uh, modified wheat, they can make those absorb more. I really do think that we're on to something here.